As the fight inches closer, the tension is skyrocketing, and the recent press conference between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson just poured gasoline on the fire. Tyson made it clear that he's not intimidated by the brash YouTuber turned boxer, he's ready to crush him. But Jake Paul, never one to back down, matched Tyson's intensity with his trademark disrespect, pushing every button he could. Fans watching were on the edges of their seats, wondering if the trash talk would spill over before they even step into the ring. Tyson and Paul recently kicked off their press tour at the Jacob Javits Center in New York City, setting the stage for their rescheduled bout on November 15th. Originally, these two were supposed to face off on July 20th, but Tyson had to pull out of the match due to a health issue. While on a flight to Los Angeles, Tyson experienced a flare-up of an ulcer serious enough to cause a delay in the fight. Tyson's team initially reassured everyone that Iron Mike had recovered completely, however, after more thorough examinations, doctors determined that he wasn't fit to compete over the summer, leading to the rescheduling of the fight. When it came to the atmosphere at the press event, it was clear who the crowd favored. As soon as Paul made his way to the stage, the arena erupted in boos, making it clear that most of the attendees were there to support Tyson. In contrast, when the former undisputed heavyweight champion took the stage, the crowd greeted him with loud cheers, almost like a hero returning home. The energy was electric setting the tone for what's expected to be an intense showdown in November. Interestingly, things got physical between Tyson and Paul during the event. As they faced off on stage, tensions quickly escalated, leading to both fighters putting their hands on each other. While it didn't turn into a full-blown brawl, the altercation added to the already charged atmosphere, giving fans a taste of the intensity that awaits when they finally step into the ring. During the press conference at the Jacob Javits Center, tensions between Tyson and Paul hit a boiling point, especially among the crowd. At one point, the fans in the arena started chanting, F asterisk 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 Jake Paul, clearly showing their disdain for the YouTuber turned boxer. This didn't sit well with Paul, who is known for his brash attitude and quick comebacks. Hey New York, shut the fuck, New York. Paul lashed out at the crowd, shouting angrily. He didn't stop there, continuing to hurl insults at the fans, saying, For yourselves, New York. Hey, New York, you're just like Mike Tyson you were good 20 years ago. Throughout the press conference, Paul made several attempts to get under Tyson's skin, throwing out personal jabs and trying to provoke a reaction. One of his digs was about the delay in their fight, referring to Tyson's health issues. Yeah, you had to go on your little menopause break and postpone the fight, Paul sneered. He added, What about that, dog? I was ready before, and you needed a little break. Does your tummy hurt still? Despite Paul's relentless efforts, Tyson remained calm and composed, refusing to let the insults get to him. When Paul mocked him about his health, Tyson casually responded, I feel a lot better now brushing off the comment as if it didn't bother him at all. The master of ceremonies then asked Tyson whether he had really been sick or if he was just scared to fight Paul. Tyson, with his typical dry humor, quipped, I was terrified, the sarcasm in his voice signaling that he wasn't taking Paul's provocation seriously. As the press conference wrapped up, the two fighters came face to face for the traditional stare down. Tyson, still in a playful mood, pushed Paul twice, adding a light-hearted touch to the intense situation. But Paul wasn't amused. He banged his chest in a show of defiance before shoving Tyson back, his expression stern and unyielding, refusing to crack a smile. This exchange was a clear indication of the tension between the two fighters. While Tyson seemed to be enjoying the moment, Paul was clearly more serious, perhaps feeling the pressure of facing off against a legendary boxer like Tyson. Amid all the excitement surrounding the upcoming fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, several notable figures in the boxing world have been sharing their thoughts. One of the most interesting voices to chime in is Kevin McBride, a former opponent of Tyson and one of the few fighters who can actually say they've defeated the boxing legend in the ring. 
Given that unique perspective, McBride's advice to Paul carries a certain weight, especially as the YouTuber turned boxer prepares to face off against Iron Mike. McBride recently shared his thoughts during an interview with Instant Casino, which was later covered by The Mirror. Now 51 years old, the ex-Irish fighter didn't mince words when offering Paul some crucial tips for the upcoming bout. He started off by giving two key pieces of advice, and to really drive his point home, he dropped a well-timed expletive. Keep your f asterisk asterisk asterisking hands up, and watch that he doesn't spit out his mouthpiece, and if he does, tell the ref. This advice might seem straightforward, but coming from McBride it holds significant weight. Back in 2005, McBride and Tyson faced off in a highly anticipated six-round event that ended with McBride emerging victorious. That fight was notable not just for the outcome, but also because it marked Tyson's retirement from professional boxing, a retirement he's stepping out of for this upcoming match with Paul. In that fight, Tyson expended too much energy early on, which allowed McBride to gain the upper hand and eventually claim victory. McBride's advice is rooted in his own experience with Tyson in the ring. He knows firsthand how dangerous Tyson can be, but he also knows that even a legend like Tyson has vulnerabilities. By telling Paul to keep his hands up, McBride is emphasizing the need for solid defense, something that will be crucial when facing a power puncher like Tyson. The second part of his advice about watching out for Tyson spitting out his mouthpiece is a more specific tactical point. It suggests that McBride believes Tyson might use certain tricks or tactics to gain an advantage, and Paul needs to be vigilant about those potential moves. After the fight was announced, Jake Paul didn't waste any time trying to get under Tyson's skin, trolling his opponent in typical Paul fashion. Whether that was a smart move is up for debate. Tyson, never one to back down, fired back with his own brand of trash talk, some of it quite explicit, as he worked to intimidate Paul. But Tyson hasn't just been talking before his recent health scare, he shared a training video that proved he still has plenty of power in his punches. If Paul has been paying attention, he might realize that the advice he just received is more crucial than ever. Tyson, who's no stranger to pre-fight mind games, seemed completely unfazed by Jake Paul's comments. Over the years, Tyson has been through it all when it comes to pre-fight antics, so Paul's attempts to rattle him barely seem to register. In contrast, Jake Paul often appears nervous whenever he's around Tyson, despite his usual bravado. It's clear that Tyson's legendary presence still has the power to intimidate even now. During the press conference, the host asked Tyson if he felt bothered by the fact that for once he wasn't the most hated person in the ring. Tyson simply smiled, showing that he's more than comfortable with the shift in the crowd's feelings. His calm demeanor contrasts sharply with Paul's anxious energy, and it's a reminder of Tyson's deep experience in handling high-pressure situations. As we look ahead to November 15th, the big question on everyone's mind is whether Jake Paul can back up his talk in the ring. Will he be able to survive against a powerhouse like Mike Tyson, or will he crumble under the pressure and become another victim of Tyson's brutality? Paul has built his brand on confidence and trash talk, but stepping into the ring with Tyson is a completely different challenge. You'll need